Hi there! We're so excited for you to participate in WQED's Anti-Bullying Storyboard Contest. Do you have a story about anti-bullying and kindness that you'd like to share? Well, stick around and we'll help you put your idea onto paper. To make a good storyboard, you need to know how to tell a good story. There are three main ingredients to every story. Setting, characters, and plot. Let's talk about what those things are. Grab a piece of paper and something to write with so we can brainstorm some ideas as we go. The first thing your story needs is a setting. The setting is where your story is going to take place. For example, if you want to tell a story about a student such as yourself, then maybe the setting is at school. Let's take 30 seconds to brainstorm three different settings for your story. Now that you have your setting, you need to think about what kind of characters live in that world. For example, if your setting is in a school, then your characters might be a student or teachers. If your setting is home, then the characters might be someone who lives with you or takes care of you. Who are some of the characters that might be in your story? Remember, you can have up to three characters in your storyboard for this contest. Take 30 seconds to brainstorm some ideas. The plot is the what of your story, the events or actions that happen to your characters. A plot must have a beginning, middle, and end. Every story has a beginning, middle, and end. The beginning is the first part of your story. It tells the viewers where the setting is and introduces the characters. What are three different ways your story could begin? In the middle of your story, something might happen to your characters, or there might be a problem your characters need to solve. What is a problem your characters might face in your story? At the end of your story, the characters solve the problem they face in the middle of the story. Characters usually learn some kind of lesson at the end of the story. What kind of lessons do you think your characters might learn at the end of your story? Try to come up with three different ways your story could end. So what do we learn? There are three parts to every story. The setting, characters, and plot. The setting of your story is where everything takes place. The characters are who the story is about. The plot is what happens in your story and should contain a beginning, middle, and an end. Now it's finally time to take all those great ideas and add them to your official storyboard templates. What location is your favorite? Which character do you like the most? What ending do you think has the best message? Pick your favorite ones for your storyboard contest PSA. As a reminder, you may only submit one entry, so give us your best idea. Have your friends or an adult help you choose which idea to create. It's really important that your storyboard is your own original work. If you need a refresher on the rules of the storyboard contest, check out our rules video here. I'm so excited to see what you all come up with. Good luck and happy storyboarding. 